Hello everybody and welcome to another draft analysis. Um, yeah, so joined another league, uh, unsurprising, right? Um, gotta, gotta keep up with the content, so joining more leagues is uh, always going to be something that happens, probably. Um, anyway, uh, this is Red League, uh, the uh, regional elite draft. Um, I'm in the blue division, which is like the miners uh, aiming to um, do decently, I guess, and uh, maybe get promoted if I can. Otherwise, I mean, I'm just happy to be playing in a other league with um, a group of cool guys. So, um, anyway, yeah, so it's season eight, so this league's been around a while as well, so that's pretty cool too. Um, but for this league, I was mid draft, um, like seventh out of all the coaches or something. So, um, not best picks, not bad picks, but always like, um, able to get something fairly decent, I guess. Um, for my first pick, uh, like, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, um, but I did know kind of what Mega I wanted, and um, to just go from there basically, uh, and that Mega was Mega Deancey, so um, a pretty cool um, Mega for sure. I've used it slightly before, but, um, not a lot, so looking forward to being able to use that as well. And since this is a league where you do not have to Mega first turn, um, being able to use Deancey's, uh, pre-Mega form to take advantage of that bolt to, to set up, um, is going to be quite useful for my team as well. And then having that magic bounce uh, will be good as well to stop my opponent from setting up hazards or to at least threaten them to stop setting up hazards as well. So that'll be pretty cool. Uh, and I feel like it's a pretty good start to a draft. Uh, there's lots of things that you can do with a Mega Deancey um, team-wise. So uh, yeah, going to be pretty cool there. Um, very good mixed attacker, lots of speed when it evolves, uh, when it mega evolves, and uh, got really good defenses when it's pre-mega as well. So that's that's a pretty cool, a lot, uh, quite a bit of versatility to this mon. Um, not necessarily in what moves it, c it can use, but um, there is still some decent coverage and stuff that the Mega Dance he gets. Uh, next up was uh, I don't know. Uh, since I had the Magic Bounce I figured getting some stuff that's um, weak to Stealth Rocks is not necessarily a bad idea uh, and I wanted some more offense to start off the draft so I went with the Weavile. So, another great speed tier to hit here. Um, strong stab um, offensively with the ice and the dark typings. Uh, and uh, a, a great physical attacker. Um, Mega Dance, it can cover the special attacking if I need to, and then having this as a physical attacker is going to be really nice. Uh, pursuit Trap, stuff like that, Knock Off, um, Ice Shard Priority. Uh, all really useful moves, so great to have Weavile on the team, and um, helps with the Mega Dance, it helps with that Stealth Rock weakness, um, and yeah, so that's a solid, speedy, physical attacker for us. Um, with next up being a really solid special attacker, and that's uh, Volcarona, which is going to be one of our Z users. I think there was like 27 points to use on Z moves, uh, Z users at the end of the draft, so this is one of them. Um, 
with the Volcrone, I can only really afford another one, though. That's okay. Bugfire. A good stop stab combination. Really weak to rocks as well, so the Mega Dance is going to help there. Um, really good special attacker, Quiver Dance, stuff like that. So um, we all know <laughs> that Volcrone is a massive threat. Um, I have used it before as well, not very effectively, but uh, I feel like I've drafted a bit more of a team that can back it up a bit more, so uh, that's the hope here. It's going to be a real threat for sure, people are going to look at this in prep and be like, oh shit, but it just depends if I'm going to be able to play well around with it. So, um, Speaking of support, for this team so far, I've got Seal Valley. Um, gonna be really good with parting shot into the Weavile, into the Volcarona, into some of the other mons that I drafted. Uh, some nice bulk. Uh, being able to be any type is really useful, so I can um, mix and match with my team. Though, with the rest of my team outside of Seal Valley, I did manage to cover every type. Um, without any overlap, so Seal Valley is just a bonus in that respect. So it's not like I need it to cover any types that my draft is missing. Uh, it's just a bonus uh, in case. And uh, it's got that parting shot support into things like the Volcrona and the Weavile, as I said. And uh, it's a re really reliable defogger as well to um, keep those hazards off my side of the field as well if uh, Mega Dancy does not manage to reflect them back. So, um, yeah, pretty good addition to my team here, I think. Um, next up is another setup sweeper, I believe, and that's going to be my other Z user, which is Haxorus. Finally pick up my dragon. Um, Haxorus has always been one of my favorite dragons, but I've never used it in draft league before. So changing that now. Um, also going to be really useful having that parting shot support. Um from the Sil Valley, so uh, being able to get a Z move uh, set up off into a Z move, something uh, with help from Sil Valley will be really useful. And um, yeah, so it's going to be a good addition to the team for sure. Uh, always going to be a real threat. The fact that it outspeeds um, a significant portion of the uh, higher tier dragons, um, like the Kyrams, the Zygarde and stuff like that, uh, by two points is excellent so uh yeah gonna be a real good addition old break is useful uh, it goes through things like disguise and sturdy so um always something to to be wary of there uh next up we have uh some momentum some speed uh steel type finally got our fairy got our dragon get our steel and that's Cobalion so we've got some Volt Switch here uh, got some Fighting Stab got some Steel Stab um, Mixed Attacker here Decent Defense uh, Dark Type Switch in um, all great options would have been nice to be able to get a Z move on this as well but uh, because of point costs I was only able to get it on Volcarona and Haxorus um, but that's just how it is Cobalion can do other things anyway um so uh volcarona needs a z move and haxorus is going to make more uses of a z move than the cabalion would so um that's my reasoning there uh yeah so cabalion uh is a nice addition to the team for sure i i have used cabalion before as well and i really enjoy it so uh good to have it back and um Hopefully we'll be able to put in work. Uh, next we start hitting up the lower point costs a bit. Um, and we go for a bit more defense uh, in the Seismitoad. So, uh, Grass Weakness, uh, Freeze Dry Weakness. That's pretty much it um, that Seismitoad really needs to watch out for. Uh, got some decent bulk on it. Uh, mixed Attacker potential as well. Uh, if we come up against any weather teams, which I'm not really sure if there are any, uh, we got that Swift Swim for Absorb, 
make it nice for a uh, water switch in for things like the Mega Diancy, the Volcarona. So that's cool to have too. Uh, gonna be a reliable rocker, though we do have, I think, I think Cabalion gets rocks as well, right? I'm not sure. Uh, Mega Diancy does, obviously. So we do have a few hazard options in that respect. Um, so yeah, Seismitoad uh, is going to be a nice niche addition to this team. Um, going to be able to take some hits uh, between Seismitoad and Sil Valley. I think we've got some pretty good defensive mons. Um, speaking of Magic Bounce, my next mon is also a Magic Bouncer. A little bit higher tier than the Seismitoad, but uh, still not the highest of tiers. Um, but it's also another mon that I've used before. Decent special attack, decent speed, and that is Espeon. So another Magic Bouncer here is gonna, it's gonna really make our opponent think about uh, if it's even worth bringing hazards <laughs> uh, against me. Because um, yeah, they're gonna have a tough time getting him up and keeping him up between two Magic Bouncers and uh, two Defoggers so far. Um. But yeah, I've, I've once again used Espeon before, and I really enjoyed that too, so... Uh, just being able to keep hazards off, and um, like keeping those hazards off for things like uh, the Volcarona, the Haxorus, uh, Cabalion, and the Weavile is really nice. So, I thought I would draft two Magic Bouncers just to, just to help support them. And seeing as they will most likely be my win cons for this draft. Um, but yeah, welcome back Espeon, and uh, it's good to have you. Uh, next up, get another decently reliable Defogger um, in Rotom, just base form Rotom. Um, I needed a Ghost type, I guess. Um, but Rotom has a bit more speed than the other Rotom forms. So uh, it's good to have as well, and it, yeah, it can still be decently bulky, and it's still a pretty decent um, hazard removaler, so that's nice. And uh, yeah, so between this and Sil Valley, um, defogging is not really going to be a problem each week, most likely, hopefully. Uh, so it's it's. So going to be decent support. Uh, it has a lot of utility options, pain split, uh, willow wisp, um, stuff like that. So going to be nice support for my team in that aspect as well. Um, I've used it before, I think. I don't know. I like I like the rotom forms, and the base form rotom is no exception. Um, yeah, I mean I like them all. So uh, next up, we are getting a. Uh, Toxic Spike Removaler uh, in a Grounded Poison, um, and our Grass type, and that is Vile Plume. So once again, can take a f <laughs> take advantage of an opponent's weather team if if there are any. I'm not sure off the top of my head, um, but Effect Spore is also a nice ability to have. Um, like still got a really decent special attack for a bulky mon. Um, got things like Swords Dance if I really wanted to set up and stuff like that, but um, yeah, uh, Strength Sap, Leech Seed, interesting stuff like that uh, can be really useful. Uh, it's not really a ground resist because of that uh, poison typing, but Strength Sap is still an OP move, so good to have. I do like Vile Plume as well, so... Um, once again, a nice addition to the team. <laughs> and uh, yeah, being able to get rid of those toxic spikes uh, just by switching in is always nice. Uh, and then we've got like three points left in our draft at this point. So um, with the only types I'm missing being normal and flying, I believe. So that's why I picked up Ch Chatot because it's uh, cheap. <laughs> it's the typings I needed. Um, other options at this point value would have been like two cannon and what's the other one? There was one more. 
I can't remember, but two cannon was probably going to be my other choice if this got taken or for whatever reason. But um, I just liked this guy's speed a bit more because that that will allow us to get a defog off on some things if if I need to. Um, and also like it can hit pretty hard with boom burst and uh, chatter and stuff like that. So pretty cool. Not the most useful abilities in general, but. I mean, who knows, run Tangled Feet and uh, a berry that confuses you <laughs> could be interesting, so that like moves are 50% accurate on it or something like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's the Adelaide Overheat squad for uh, Red um, League, for the Red League Blue Division um, for Season 8. Let me know what you think. <laughs> um, I think it's a uh, it's an interesting team. That's uh, that's for sure. And um, I I think it's it's going to be something that I'll be able to hopefully do well with. <laughs> I mean, I always hope to do well. It doesn't always happen, but um, I I do like this team. I do like the look of this team, and I do like the synergy of this team. So yeah. It's just a matter of, uh, we'll see how it goes, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, um, that is my team. Let me know what you think, and I will catch you all guys later for matches whenever they come around. Peace.